Uh, the University of Alabama's Child Life Program gave back today to those who care for others at DCH Regional Medical Center. WVUA 23 Sarah Macaluso was there and joins us now live with more. Sarah. Philip, these UA Child Life students hosted their annual staff appreciation day for the ER, NICU, and pediatric employees of DCH. And one popular football mascot even made a guest appearance. <laughs> The University of Alabama's Child Life students put on the 14th annual Staff Appreciation Day for ER, NICU, and pediatric employees. UA Practicum Supervisor Leslie Dollar says the students act as a support system for the children. All throughout the semester, they come and they see the pediatric patients and they relieve stress and anxiety by different interventions that Child Life has to offer. Pediatric nurse manager Tracy Swan says having the Child Life students help makes the children feel more comfortable in their home away from home. We do medical play so that they're not afraid. We want, do not want them to be afraid when they are here in the hospital. Uh, and children are very strong patients and, um, and we are glad to have the support of the Child Life group. And one of those strong patients is TJ Odom, a five-year-old who goes to Cottondale Elementary and has spent the last three days at DCH. He's had a cough since about Thursday or Friday and then he on Saturday, I came home from work and he was just laying around and his daddy told me, you know, he's not feeling well and I said, and that's not like him. After checking into DCH on Monday, TJ has gone through multiple tests to see if he has meningitis and along the way, the UA Child Life students help TJ feel a little more at home with some music therapy. In this setting, it's he's, he's not feeling very well and then when they came in, just seeing him light up over it, it was... It was really a good experience. I was glad that they came. I really was. TJ even had a special surprise from a very popular sports mascot. On top of getting to see Big Al, TJ also was able to go home earlier this afternoon. Live tonight, Sarah Macaluso, WVUA 23 News.